Errors were made in the hours following King Viserys' death. The war be fought. Okay, we got some good shots there. We got them preparing for battle. We got Damon looking like a boss. We got Aegon here. The war be fought. Many will die. Kristen beheading somebody. And the victor. Aegon sitting on his throne. You know, Aegon looks like he's like a more competent version of Joffrey. Like he's just very like menacing. You know, at first he 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 kind of was like Joffrey, but now I don't know. Just he seems more like he, he. Well, if you know the spoilers, he's just more competent. Eventually, ascend the throne. Dragons flying overhead. There is no war so hateful to the gods. Damon beheading somebody. There's a war between kin. Damn, okay. That's some like feel the fire stuff right there. No war so bloody as a war between dragons. Small folk fighting. Vagar. Man, Vagar is so big. He's a massive dragon. Summer 2024. Man, it's so hype. Yeah, Kristen looks like way older in this. Damon just, you know, he always looks the same. Uh... Rhaenyra, yeah, she definitely looks battle-hardened. You got them preparing the troops. I don't know, like, how high budget the battles are going to be. Like, I'm hoping we get something like Field of Fire with Daenerys versus the Lannisters. That would be so epic. I just don't know if we're going to get that with this budget. But I hope we do. I mean, I really do. This story deserves it. This is the Targaryens. Like, if anything, this 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 deserves it more than... The battle with Daenerys against the Lannisters did like we we need to see this Targaryens at their height destroying each other um high quality like we need that so I really hope that's the case yeah this trailer is very hype um I even prepare <laughs> after because I saw the first season I, I really wasn't into like Fire and Blood before but I was like okay get a copy and for my Chinese study my Chinese friend got me Fire and Blood the uh the Chinese edition which in Chinese this says blood blood and fire and uh you know i won't show too much because there's a lot of spoilers in here but some really good illustrations definitely recommend picking up fire and blood in any version um that you can read because it's just it's a great story again maybe you know read it uh, after this if you don't want to be spoiled uh, after the show comes out in 2024 but yeah i mean this looks very hype Aegon's looking pretty uh, menacing as a, as a king. He might even top Joffrey, in my opinion. We'll see. Um, Daemon looking badass. Um, and then, of course, Aemon. That, we're going to probably get the Aemon versus Daemon fight. That's going to be epic. Really looking forward to this stuff. Um, but, yeah, just wanted to do a quick reaction to this because I usually don't do like Game of Thrones content, but I am a Game of Thrones fan. I really enjoyed Game of Thrones. The last, I would say, three seasons of Game of Thrones sucked. But House of the Dragon, I thought, was, you know, it was pretty good. I wouldn't say it was, like, top tier, but it was pretty good, the first season of House of the Dragon. And it really got me interested in this story. And, um, you know, the dude that plays uh, Damon, especially, you know, he's an excellent actor. Um, I thought, uh, you know, the, the actress who plays uh, Rhaenyra, she's kind of growing on me. She's done a pretty good job, both of the actresses that played her. And um, the chick that plays Allison, excellent as well. And the dragons, you know, they, with the budget they had, looked amazing. And I hope now they got maybe a bigger budget. I, I, it's better. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, uh, just want to do a quick reaction to this trailer. Uh, wherever you are, have a great day. Have a great night. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow on TikTok. is greatly appreciated. And peace out.